Hi, my name is Mark Evershed. I'm a golf instructor here in Toronto, Canada, and I'm entering the Tiger Lottery to see who's going to become his next instructor. Tiger, right to you, my friend. I'm easily qualified to give you the information you need. There's no question. Now, I also have to make this for other people, too, so I'm not just giving it just to Tiger. I've got to make it entertaining for the other people watching, you know? We all know that Tiger might be one of the best athletes in the world. I have a problem with the way he's hitting it because he can't have the right information. He's just way too good of an athlete to have the correct information. Now, I don't buy into he's got the correct information, he just can't do it. That is not correct. No way, no how. There's some stuff missing. So far, to date, this is our fourth segment of what we're doing. The first three, we kind of talked about some different aspects of it. You know, the first thing was Tiger always complains of the two-way miss. I think there should only be a one-way miss. Every good player should be fighting the hook for the rest of their life, not fighting the block. The first three episodes, we kind of talked about how to stop hitting the block. Today, I want to stop, talk about stop hitting the ball to the left. To hit a golf ball really far, you need to retain a thing called lag pressure. Everybody on the planet has lag pressure. Then they go around, uh, go about missing it on the way down. To retain your lag pressure, the club face cannot shut down through the golf ball. Now, Justin, I want you to take a couple uh, of swings somewhat towards the camera. No, the other way, sure. at the camera. So here's what I'm saying. If Justin knows how to swing his arms on plane, that squares the club face. Now, go ahead. So on plane, so you're moving left through the golf ball. That's plane. The arms move left through the golf ball. That squares the club face, right? When I show people that, they all say, well, that's over the top. It isn't over the top. If you need to see more, go to www.evershedgolf.com, and I have all my stuff on there for a bigger explanation that is not over the top. And I might say an awful lot of really good players love the understanding, the feeling of coming over the top. It squares the face of the club. Now we have to talk about how you don't shut the face of the golf club. That's called retaining your lag pressure. Um, Justin, can you turn around like you're going to hit a ball 45 degrees on that angle? On this, the other, other way, please. This way. Okay. Take it halfway back. Okay, so understanding that he's going to swing his arms to the left, squaring the face. Your rightful question should be, well, how do I know it won't shut? Here's the deal. If you understand it's the responsibility of the arms to square the club face, not the hands. The hands don't square the club face. The hands are, are seeking to be allowed to retain the lag condition. This is fearful and you do need more information before you try this at home. A good player is always trying to stop the blade of the club from shutting. A bad player is always trying to get it to shut. Some bad understandings going on there. When you hit the golf ball, go ahead. You go ahead and hit a couple, Justin. So let's assume that you know what plane is. Bad assumption, but let's know. I know Tiger believes he knows what plane is from the golf ball forwards. Go ahead and hit it, Justin. And I even hate to say this to you. But when he's hitting that golf ball, he's trying to leave the club face as wide open as he possibly can. I know I just lost half of you, three quarters of you, 90% of you, I just lost you. Go to my website. This information is correct. If you don't like the sounds of it, that's one thing. But don't say it's not right because I don't like it. Go to the website and check out more. You need all the information, not bits and pieces. One more time. Justin, before you do that, one more swing at the camera showing the plane of the arms from the golf ball forwards. This is what gets the club face back to square, no rights, right? Back to square, no rights. In this episode, we're talking about no lefts. Same thing, Justin. Now go hit the golf ball like you did. And I swear to you, he's trying to keep his spine angle like in segment number one. He's trying to keep his head angle like in segment number one. Arm swing left. Club face tries to stay open. Those two opposing forces, the shaft going left and the face going right, is what makes the ball go straight. Or you can say it another way, and, and this is not a terrible way to say it. If you want the ball to not go to the left, you have to allow the blade of the club to apparently stay open. If you want the ball to not go to the right, you have to swing your arms on plane from the ball forwards. So we did four Tiger segments. We got rid of the right side, got rid of the left side, showed you how to accelerate your learning curve. 
Okay, so if you want more information, www.evershedgolf.com.